Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and I'm from Amanda Crochets and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make this super simple double crochet dishcloth. This dishcloth measures approximately 10 inches across by 8 inches long and you can make this in a variety of different colors. This dishcloth only uses a few basic stitches so you can definitely work this up very quickly and with the cotton yarn depending on the cotton that you use you can get multiple dishcloths from one skein of yarn so this is a great project for super beginners to practice their crocheting skills and you can also use this to make dishcloths for your friends and family you can use this to wash your dishes or your countertops in your own house and you can even sell them at craft fairs. So let's get going on learning how to make this double crochet dishcloth. So for today's tutorial you're going to need one skein of Hobby Lobby I Love This Cotton. You can always use another cotton yarn if you like. This is just what I have in my yarn stash. And the color that I'm using is Dove, which is a really, really nice, pretty gray color. You can use whatever color that you would like. And this is a 3.5 ounce skein, or 100 grams, 180 yards, or 165 meters. And this is 100% cotton. It's considered a number four medium worsted weight yarn, and it is machine washable and dryable. And the recommended hook size is a US I9 or 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Again, you can use whatever cotton yarn that you would like, and you can use whatever color that you would like as well. And then I'm going to be using the recommended hook size, which is the I9 or 5.5 millimeter for today's tutorial. So let's begin. Okay, so for today's dishcloth, you're going to make a chain of 33. If you did want to make your dishcloth a little bit smaller or a little bit bigger, you can definitely do that. Just add as many chains as you would like. There is no chain multiple for this pattern. So I just went ahead and made 33 chains. So to make a chain, you're going to yarn over your hook and pull through that loop on your hook. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Continue until you have a total of 33 chains or your desired width. Okay, so after you have your chain, we can go ahead and begin row one. For row one, you're gonna make one double crochet into the second chain from your hook. So that loop on your hook does not count. You're gonna count two chains one and two. And in that second chain you're going to make a double crochet. So yarn over your hook, insert your hook into that second chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the remaining two loops on your hook. You're going to make one double crochet in each of the chains across. So again, yarn over your hook, insert your hook into that next chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now if you are a true beginner and you have difficulties lining up the sides of your projects, then I highly recommend getting a stitch marker and putting it into that top of the very first double crochet that you made. So if you flip your work a little bit you could see the little V on top. You're going to insert your stitch marker right here on the very top of that first double crochet made. That way that you know the end of the row so that way you don't skip that stitch and your ends are going to be nice and straight. Okay, so continue with that double crochet across. So in that next chain, you're going to insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. 
Continue making one double crochet across the entire chain and I will meet up with you and show you how to continue to row two. Okay, so I'm over at the end of my first row and I just inserted my hook and my yarn into that very last chain. Again, if you're a beginner, I would highly recommend getting a stitch marker and putting it into this very last stitch of your row. And then as you make more rows, you're just going to take that stitch marker and move it up. So this is what your first row of double crochets looks like. And you should have a total of 32 total double crochets. So to move on to row two, you're going to go ahead and chain two and turn. And that chain two is going to count as your double crochet. So you're going to put your stitch marker in the top of that chain two right here. You're going to make a double crochet into that second stitch from your chain. So if the chain two counts, you're going to skip this section right here, this very first stitch, and you're going to go right over here to the second stitch. So yarn over your hook, insert your hook into that second stitch, and if you turn your work, you could see that little V. You want to make sure you go under both loops of that stitch. And then you're going to yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then you're going to repeat this all the way across, making one double crochet in each of the stitches across. So continue making one double crochet in each of the stitches across and I will show you how to end row two and move on to the next row. Okay, so I'm almost done with row two. I have one stitch remaining and it's going to be that very last double crochet. Okay, so for this pattern, you're going to go ahead and repeat row two for a total of 15 rows. So once you hit 15 rows, I'm going to meet up with you and show you how to make the border. If you do not want to make the border, you can totally skip that. This is just what I did to make it a little bit more neat and finished looking. So go ahead and finish 15 total rows of this double crochet in each stitch across. And I will meet up with you after row 15. Okay, so I'm over at the end of row 15. And here's what your dishcloth looks like so far. So for the border, I'm just going to add a simple single crochet border. So I'm going to chain one and turn. And in that very first stitch, which is now going to be considered your corner, you're going to make two single crochets. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. That's your single crochet. So again, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now we will finish the corner as we go up the side of our dishcloth, but for now we're going to leave it as is. It across the top of your dishcloth, you're going to go ahead and make one single crochet in each of the stitches across the top. Continue making one single crochet across the top of your dishcloth and I will show you how to complete your first corner. Okay, so I'm coming up to my first corner. So you have this last double crochet right here. You're going to go ahead and insert your hook and make three single crochets all into that last double crochet for your corner stitch. And that's just going to help round out your corner stitch a little bit better. You're going to flip your work, so now you're going to be working along the side of your dishcloth. And for your sides, I just went in the two chains from each row. So when you chained up two, I'm just going to make my single crochets into the chain two. 
and that just helps me to kind of pinpoint where I wanted to make the single crochets. Okay, so that's pretty much your border. So for the top and the bottom of your of your dishcloth, you're going to make one single crochet across. When you get to the corners, you're going to make three single crochets in each corner stitch. And for both sides of your dishcloth, you're going to find that chain two, and you're going to make one single crochet in each of the chain two spaces. I will work my border and when I get to the very first corner I will show you how to finish that dishcloth and weave in your ends. Okay so I'm over at the first corner and at that first corner we made two single crochets. So now to finish off that corner you're going to go ahead and insert your hook and make one single crochet to close out that corner. You're going to then go into that very first uh, single crochet. You're going to yarn over and pull through that stitch and pull through that loop on your hook for a slip stitch. And that is going to close up and finish off your dishcloth. So then you're going to get your scissors and now you're going to leave a little bit of an end so you can weave in your end and you're just going to cut that yarn. And what I like to do is I like to yarn over my hook and pull through and then tighten so it forms that nice knot. You're then going to get your stitch, your tapestry needle and you're going to go ahead and weave in your ends. So what I like to do is just go in between my stitches to hide that tail. And I like to go in three different directions to make sure my tail is nice and secure. And you're going to be doing this for both of your yarn tails. So just go in and out of each stitch until you feel like your tail is secure. And then to really hide that. And then you're going to get your scissors and you're going to cut off the remaining tail that's still showing. And you're going to do that for your other tail as well. So this is what your finished dishcloth looks like. Again, you can use any color that you would like. You can even make this into a striped dishcloth if you like by just changing colors every so often. You can use a variegated yarn so you already have that color change built into the yarn. And again, this is just a very nice and simple beginner pattern. And you can make this in any color to fit your home decor. You could use this to sell at craft fairs or to give to friends and family as gifts. So this works up super nice and quick and it's a very easy and beginner friendly pattern. So thank you so much for joining me today on learning how to make the double crochet dishcloth. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Please like, comment, and subscribe to see all future videos by me. And as always, happy crocheting. Bye.